Hi, I'm Lily Egbert. And I'm Lauren Stuckey. And, and we're WHYY -Y -Y Young Journalists. Bees are usually seen as pesky nuisances. Little do we know, however, they are vital to everyday life. For more information, we look to our reporters with an unbelievable story. Hi, I'm Helena. I'm Avery. And I'm Daniela. And we are WHYY Young Journalists. We are at the Stunton Museum in North Philly, where we're catching up with Jeff Eckel of NSTAR Apiaries. And his bees. My name is Jeff Eckel. I'm a beekeeper. It's really enjoyable working the bees, but then it's also really nice to kind of get out in nature. Bees are a lot of fun to work. They're not um, very aggressive. A lot of people are very scared to stand near a hive. Not only did Jeff show us what it's like to be a beekeeper, but he gave us insight on a problem the bees have been facing recently. Our biggest problem is the varroa mite. It sucks the blood of, you know, the blood of the bee, um, but uh, it also transmits different viruses. The bee population grows throughout the year and so does the mite population. And then in the fall when the bee population is kind of decreasing, the mite population is still going up. And so that at that point you, you get um, where the hives will collapse from, from Varroa Destructor. Over the past few years, bees have been disappearing at an alarming rate. In the winter of 2013, 23.2% of honeybee colonies managed by Americans were lost. We talked to beekeeper Tanya Veach about her disappearing bees. We lost all four of our hives this winter, so we, and we also didn't collect any honey because they needed it for winter, so I didn't sell any honey last year. But perhaps the biggest issue bees face is us, the common homeowner. A big thing is pesticides, fungicides um, that farmers use, but also that homeowners use in their backyards. Um, you know, everybody wants pretty grass and they want to kill all the weeds, but the weeds are really important to the bees, especially early in winter. But what does this have to do with us? Bees are actually an integral part of our agricultural society. They pollinate two-thirds of the crops that feed 90% of the population. 90%, 95% of our, uh, you know, food supply as far as vegetables and fruits are dependent on pollinators. So if you want to have a good breakfast, you can say, you know, two-thirds of that is is from, from bee pollination. What can be done to prevent the bee apocalypse? Our experts had a few ideas. Planting flowers is a very good, a very good um, option. I think not spraying herbicides. We're optimistic that these plants can be put into action in order to save this fascinating species. I think bees are gonna be all right. Wow, bees are really important, but we're buzzing with excitement about their bright future. I'm Helena. I'm Avery. And I'm Daniela. Thanks for watching.